In this review of Flix by Jason Fulton and Sean Ogundele on Warrior Plus, I will show you the truth behind this product so you can stop wasting your hard earned money and stop buying products just like Flix, which are entirely gimmicky and useless to you and your business. I will show you exactly what's inside this product so you can see exactly what you're getting for yourself. I will cover all the OTOs and the total costs. I went out and bought a copy of this product to try out for myself. Furthermore, I will explain to you why products like Flix are complete junk and time wasters for new affiliate marketers and may not be the solution to making money online that you're looking for. This review of Flix is based on my personal experience and opinion only and I want to share my experience so you can make a wise buying decision as to whether or not you should buy Flix. Hey there, welcome to Buddy Savvy. My name is Serge and on this channel, I'll give out tips and do reviews about products for you that I think are legit or useless to new affiliate marketers trying to make money online. If you're trying to make money online as a new affiliate marketer, then I have my number one recommended training that's honest and free in the link in the description below. This training has over 90 plus hours of step-by-step -step video tutorials that are incredibly detailed and simple, showing you exactly how to build a real evergreen business online, which brings in traffic, leads, and sales. So go ahead and click on the link below. You won't regret it because it's 100% free, 100% beginner friendly, and 100% awesome. And you're gonna love it. Trust me, it's a no-brainer. And while you're down there, if you're not yet a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell so you know when I put out my latest tip and review video. And don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and leave a comment. This will help significantly with the algorithm to keep making great videos like this for you, okay? And now, let's talk. So what is Flix and what is it about? What Flix is, is a platform similar to YouTube where you can upload videos, but this one has a twist. And the twist is that you can import videos from YouTube and daily motion and use other people's content as your own. This model is not a Airbnb or Uber model. This model is basically stealing or also known as copyright infringement. This product is targeted to new and struggling affiliate marketers because only they are the one who would buy this product hoping to make sales. However, I will show you some concerns I have that will show you that with this product, you will not get the outcome that you're looking for. So here we are. This is Flix. As you can see, this is just like YouTube, a straight copycat of YouTube. And you see it has a bunch of videos as you, that you can watch on the main page. And then from here, the way this works for you is to go ahead and go and upload some videos. So if you look to the top here, you will see that you can upload videos, you can import them, you can go, you can go live. So if you're going to click on upload, what this gives you, it gives you an option to go ahead and upload your own video by drag and dropping it. Now, the main function I think that they want people to use the most is the import function. So if you click on that, now we have two ways to import. We could import videos from YouTube and we can import videos from daily motion. So let's click on YouTube. So to import some videos from YouTube, you got to first put some keywords. So let's see what keyword we can put. Let's put money. Okay. And let's choose public search. Let's limit the per page per five. And this is categories. Let's go to how to style and from here let's give it manual and now let's click on search and now here's an issue that keeps popping and the issue is there's an error has been found saying that the request cannot be completed because I've exceeded the quota so this is the issue with this software trying to import from YouTube now Let's see if I use a different word. Will that work? Let's use health. Health. And let's click search. Same issue. Nothing changed. All right. So let's try and go to import. 
And now let's click on Daily Motion and see if we can import some video from Daily Motion. Now let's type in money. Money. And let's change this to five. Let's keep it to one page. Let's change to how to style. And let's leave this as manual. And now let's click on search. Let's see what results we get. Okay, so now we have some results here. So we have some we have five videos, and at the bottom we see it says like load five more or can import selected. And here in the videos, you will see the description of videos, you see the titles as well. So if you want to, you could change the title, say buddy savvy. And you also change the description. Like buddy savvy. All right. Or you could just leave them the way it is. And then go ahead and click on import selected five. So. And after you import the ones you've seen, it's going to upload five more. So to see the videos you imported, all you got to do is go ahead and click on the profile. And then click on my channel. Here we are on my channel. And here are the videos I just uploaded. So let's pick a, a video here. Let's, just, let's pick this one. And let's see if this video works. And let's go ahead and play it. Iets meer dan 2000 jaar geleden heeft Seneca gezegd: kan kijk, wij uh, proberen altijd het leven van de mensen te verlengen. Maar we denken te weinig. All right. Does anybody knows what language that was? Because I have no idea. What did he just say? So if this is my channel and I just rip somebody else's video which I have no idea what this video is about, what it's saying. Is that an issue? Okay, so this is why this product is not good. Because you're ripping somebody else's content, which I have no idea where it came from, right? I have no idea what it's saying, but the title is money. And I, I just don't know what, I just don't know what, how it's going to work. How am I going to make money from that? How am I going to make money? On top of that, What's Flix to, what's Flix platform? Who have heard Flix platform? This is not a platform which I've heard of before. And I'm pretty sure it's not a global platform such as YouTube, where YouTube has a massive audience worldwide. So who, so who's going to come see this platform? I mean, who's going to come to this platform to watch, uh, content which was stolen from other platforms, right? So below here, it has the share button. If you click on that, you will see you have a couple of social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter. Uh, you have Google, probably Gmail, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Tumblr, and Reddit. So do you have a massive following that is not your friends and family that would be interested for you to send them a video from Flix platform? Probably not. As a new field marker, you probably do not have a massive following yet. So how useful is this to you? Probably not very useful, right? Now, one thing else I want to show you guys is the terms of use. I wish I could move this video or close it out. There's no way to close this video. So right here, I'm going to try and click on the terms of use and show you guys the terms of use. And if you try to read it, you will see that it's a bunch of gibberish just a default uh, letters or paragraph which the product vendor or whoever's buying Flix did not update and let's go click on privacy policy and if you read private privacy policy you'll see that they also have not updated privacy policy so let's click on let's read this right who we are it says provide name and contact details in data controller this will typically be your business of see they even fill this out so are you going to take this product seriously if the vendor cannot fill out the terms of use and privacy policy? Now let's check one more thing. Let's think about us. So let's see if they fill this one out. See, even the about us page, they didn't put, they didn't fill that out properly. It's still gibberish. So how can you, how can we trust this vendor or trust this product if he can't even fill out his own terms of use and privacy policy and information? Okay, 
So this is a big red flag showing me that this is not a credible product or a credible vendor. Let me show you guys another issue here. So if I go to Liz videos, right, you'll see there's a bunch of pages here, but there's no videos showing. There's no videos found. So if I go to the next one, type videos, same thing. No videos found, bunch of pages, training, no, no videos found. Articles, look, no posts found, movies, there's nothing in there, okay? Only thing there's it, only thing it has some contents in there is the popular videos. So if you look at all these channels, right, you'll see the first one has over 12,589 views and everything else has uh, under 200 or lower than that. This one has 198, 168, 119, this one has 84, 58, 38, 34, we do some more you see all these channels have very very low views so how does this channel has more views than all these chan oh, than all these channels combined well let's take a look let's click on this and let's see uh how, do, how many views this brings so if, if you look at the views for these videos you will see that some of these videos have pretty low views here so i got one for 10 7 5 5 5 However, only three videos have high views. You have this one for over 7,000, this one over 800, and this one almost 4,000 views. But the rest of the videos are very low. So why the views are so drastic? Why you have uh, very low views here and high views between three videos? Well, in my opinion, I would say I believe this videos the views for these videos were probably paid for. You probably pay for the views for these three videos and everything else is just organic views. Okay, so these three videos do not have organic views. So I think this is why this channel, the Flix Demo channel has over 12,000 views compared to the rest of the other channels, in my opinion. In this section is where you set up the ads so you can monetize your video. So let's create an ad. I'm gonna call this ad money. And right here I'm gonna choose the type of ad I want. Let's click on buy button ad. And let's, let's keep it bottom right. Uh, let's put a referral link. Let's put the uh, water plus link. Uh, leave it went to display, start the video, insert time zero, button one. Okay, this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, so I'm gonna save this ad money. Okay, this is where I monetize the channel, the video. So here it is. This is where we create our ads for ad money. So let me show you guys how the ad looks. Okay, so let's go back to popular channels and let's go on the fixed demo account. Okay, so we're on the fixed demo channel, the Flix demo channel. So I'm gonna play one of these videos for you to show you what these, one of these, how these ads look. So let me click on this video. Okay, so. Once I play this video, okay, listen to the video, listen to how it plays. So be very careful, this might get a little bit loud and also strange. So listen to this. 2020, 2020 board an explosion. explosion in e-commerce competition. competition. To, to set, set yourself, yourself apart and keep pace with an ever-changing... All right, did you guys see that? There was two ads playing at the same time here. And you have the ad right here. Okay, so this is what happens when you create the ad for these videos. And so this video is bring up from YouTube and here it is. Here's the buy button ad here. And if you click on here, you see there's the YouTube logo here. And when you click on that, it will automatically bring you straight to YouTube, which asks why would you need Flix if you can just upload stuff on YouTube because you can direct it straight to YouTube. So this product to me is totally unnecessary okay now let's go over the total cost and all the upgrades so first we have the front end product which is flix for $19 and you can get that for a discount at $17 the next product is flix unlimited at $47 or discount at $37 the next is done for you 
for $297 or you can get it at discount $497. Next OTO is Flix Automation for $47 or you get a discount for $27. Next OTO is Flix Done For You Bar Traffic for $97 or you can get that at a discount for $47. The next OTO is Flix Commission Multiplier for $47, or you can get it at a discount for $37. The next OTO is Flix License at $147, or you can get that at a discount for just $77. Next OTO is Flix Advance 500 times for $97, or you can get that for just $47. The next OTO is Flix Affiliate Automated profits for $77 or you get the Flix automated affiliate profits discount for just $47. The next OTO is the Flix Mega Bundle for $37 or you get the Flix Mega Bundle discount at $27. The next OTO is the Flix Plus $107.91 hour paydays add-on for just $24.95. All in all, you're looking at a total cost between $560 on the low end and $936.95 on the high end. So, what is my final thought about Flix? My final thought about Flix is that if you buy this product and you do what advocates, right? You or these two gentlemen here who are the product creators most likely will receive a cease and desist letter. Okay? This is what you're going to get, a cease and desist letter. So exactly what is a cease and desist letter? So what cease and desist letter is, is, uh, is a letter that does not automatically signify a lawsuit, but it simply is a warning about illegal behavior that lets you know that further penalties could follow the, if the behavior, such as a patent infringement, doesn't stop. And here are some ways it's possible to validate the intellectual property of another. If you do plagiarism of someone's work, use an invention without the right of, to access it, engaging in illegal or suspicious activity that involves someone's work. So most likely, the product vendor for Flix, or you as the promoter or the user of Flix, of using Spios's content will receive a cease and desist letter from possibly the content owner. Another, another thing it says is that there's a number of cases that might lead to someone else's, to someone to issue a cease and desist. This include character assassination, libel, slander, or defamation, trademark infringement, copyright infringement, patent infringement, violation of non-competition agreement, harassment, and breach of contract. So if you guys do not want to get in trouble with uh, with the law or with the content owner that you stole uh, from, so I would say just do not buy this product and do not do what I advocate for. Okay, so don't do it. If you want a better alternative than Flix, then I recommend. Screencast Omatic. And what Screencast Omatic is, it's a screen recorder and also a screen capture that you can use to create content and upload that to any platform you want, whether it's YouTube, Vimeo, whatever. Okay, so it is a free version of Screen Omatic. And with this free version, you can only make uh, videos for 15 minutes at a time. However, if you go and get the paid version, that will only cost you about a dollar sixty-five per month. Okay, I recommend getting this and pay the yearly. If not, just go ahead with the dollar sixty-five per month, and that will basically record uh, unlimited all the time. So you either get the free version or you get the deluxe version or the premier version, and this is what you get from each from each one. So. This is a way better alternative than uh, Flix, and I recommend that you guys go with this one to create your own content and not worry about a cease and desist suit if you went with Flix. 
and I will put a link to all the resources that I showed in this video in the description below. So go in the description below and check out all the resources so you can make a great decision. That's it everyone. I've been as detailed as I can be in this review of Flix and I want to remind you once again to click the link in the description below and check out the free training. I know where some of you guys are in your journey and I know some of you are fed up with buying shiny objects and worthless OTOs over and over again. And if you have anything specific you want me to review or you have any kind of disagreement with me in this review of Flix, then leave me a comment and ask me. Or just tell me. Also, if you got value from this review, then please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell as I have a lot of free tutorials and make money and long tips to share with you in the future. Go ahead and check out these videos next so you know where not to waste your hard earned money on these shiny objects. And thank you so much for your time and I will see you again in the next video.